Hello everyone! Today we're going to be giving a delicious twist on the old-fashioned classic pecan pie and make a chocolate pecan pie with a shortbread crust made of almond flour that is amazing. More flavor, not as sweet, with a hint of maple and vanilla and a rich chocolate taste. You know I love anything chocolate, so if you're a chocolate lover like me, you will love this pie around the holidays. This recipe is gluten-free, refined sugar-free and paleo-friendly and rivals the processed pecan pie version we all grew up eating. Be sure to watch this video until the end because I'm going to show you how to make a dairy-free whipping cream and beautiful chocolate triangles to serve your pie with. The full written recipe is posted on my blog, Living Healthy with Chocolate, and you can find the link in the description of this video. For those of you who are new here, I'm Adriana Harlan. I love cooking and baking with real whole food ingredients. And on this channel, I share with you my best healthy dessert recipes. So if this interests you, be sure to subscribe and introduce yourself in the comments below. Okay, so first let's make the crust. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a saucepan over medium heat, melt the butter. If you need to be dairy-free, you can use palm shortening or coconut oil. Let's let this cool now on a cooling rack for a bit. And now in a mixing bowl, let's mix the almond flour, arrowroot flour, maple syrup, and salt. Add the melted butter and mix to form the dough. You can roll the dough before you put it in a pan like you do with traditional pie crust. But I'm too lazy and I usually prefer to just press the dough in the pan. So I'm gonna start by pressing the dough in the middle and filling the edges, making sure I have an even amount throughout the pan. And I'm gonna put a piece of parchment paper on the bottom just so the pie releases from the pan easier later. Let's freeze the dough for 10 minutes so it holds shape during baking. Poke a few holes throughout. Bake until it's golden brown. In my oven, this takes around 12 minutes. Beautiful. Let's let this cool in a wire rack. We're going to make the filling next. I've been wanting to experiment adding chocolate to pecan pie for a very long time. Growing up in Brazil, I didn't eat pecan pie, but since I moved to the States, I learned to love it. The problem is that I always thought it was way too sweet. So to balance out the sweetness of this dessert, I'm going to be adding 100% unsweetened chocolate to my pie. And the quality of chocolate that you use is very important. Personally, I like this brand from Santa Barbara Chocolate. They have the best 100% dark chocolate. It's not bitter at all. And it comes already in chips like this. So you can get this brand on their website and I'll put a link in the description box below. Or you can use any chocolate bar of your preference and just chop it into little pieces. Over medium heat, melt some butter and the chocolate together. Again, you can use coconut oil or palm shortening if you're dairy free. Set this on a cooling rack to cool and in the meantime, mix the other ingredients for the filling together. Whisk the eggs until foamy, add vanilla extract, coconut sugar and maple sugar and give it a good whisk. I'm adding coconut and maple sugar to my pie in place of the traditionally used corn syrup. Maple sugar has a delicious caramel-like taste and if you're not sure of what maple sugar is, I will put a link below this video so you guys can check it out. It is wonderful for baking and a great substitute for maple syrup. Add the cold melted chocolate butter mixture to the bowl and mix together until everything is well combined. Magical, this is looking amazing. Mm, and it tastes good too. Pour this in your crust and tap it in the counter a few times gently to get rid of some of those bubbles. Now we can top it with these beautiful whole pecans. And here you can add as many as you like. We're going to bake the pie at 400 degrees for just 10 minutes, then remove it from the oven, cover it with aluminum foil so that the pecans and the crust doesn't burn, reduce the temperature to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and bake for an extra 20 minutes. You'll see when the pie is done baking, when the middle is firm and there's no jiggle in the center, and it's firm to the touch. We're going to let this cool on a cooling rack before serving. See how much easier and faster this is to make than traditional pecan pie? You can serve it warm or chill it in the fridge and serve it cold. Okay, so now if you want to get fancy, let's decorate your pie. I'm going to show you how to make a dairy-free whipping cream and some beautiful chocolate triangles so you can serve your pie with. First, the whipping cream. All you need is a can of coconut cream, 
add it to a bowl, mix in unflavored gelatin powder or agar agar and give it a good whisk. Pour it in a saucepan and heat it over medium heat to dissolve the gelatin. Pour it back in the bowl and refrigerate for about 30 minutes to allow it to set. Now give it a good whisk and I'm gonna add just a tablespoon of maple syrup to sweeten it up. Looking gorgeous. This whipping cream makes your pie beautiful and softens the rich chocolate flavor in the pie. Now for the chocolate decorations, I'm going to melt some chocolate slowly in a double boiler. Spread the chocolate in a thin layer over parchment paper and let it harden in the fridge. Now cut some triangles to decorate your pie. See how simple and beautiful? This pie is so delicious. Rich, fudgy, super chocolatey, full of pecan flavor and a great twist on the classic pecan pie. I think you will love this recipe and again the measurements and instructions are written for you in detail on my blog. I hope you make this pie for the holidays and snap a photo, post it on my blog so I can see and share with everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Happy holidays!